Thank you. Growing up on Guam, we never saw homeless people. I wonder, how did they get there? What led them to come out here and ask for money? What's their story? Did their families break down? How did they get to the crossroads? They always tell me like, to go get a job and all, but I cannot work because of my reaction to it. I'm not really out here all day long. How much money would you say you get every day out here? Not much. Maybe like only like 30, 30 dollars. When they say go get a job, I mean, what do you say to them? I tell them it's hard, but it bothers me. But it's really hard to get a job when I don't have a high school diploma. My doctor already retired, so um, I'm um, trying to um, leave off island to get my, my spinal problem to be taken care of. But I get mostly help from the Micronesians. More than the Chamorro, they always like to bear calm with me. You sometimes use the money to like buy food for your kids? Oh yes. I buy food for my kids. I put gas in my dad's car when I use it. How many kids you got again? Six. My oldest gets embarrassed, but I told him, I said, it's hard for me to work when I'm always hurting and when I try to work, they let me go because I'm always getting off. I'm always complaining on my pain. I feel bad that my son's embarrassed about it. And so you're uh, Regina's husband, right? Yes, I am. And my wife is suffering um, what you call medical malplay. Uh, three, uh, it seems to be three in doctors of Malwing, the, radi the radiologists. So this thing is started by pregnancy. Too much uh, anesthetic to the back causing her lower disc to damage. Now she has formed a cancer or some sort. Uh, it's, hard, it's really hard to pronounce it. It's taking a, actually a toll on me. Uh, I am put under a lot of pressure on my wife. You know, she, I understand she is going through a lot through the public, the people's comments, like get off the damn road, you know, stop collecting, go seek government help. But what people don't understand is even if you try to seek the government help, it costs funds. Without the funds, they will not entertain you basically at all. Uh, what do you say to people who um, stereotype uh, maybe your wife or even yourself that you guys must be on uh, drugs? I have to put it this way. If you do do drugs, stay out of it. Don't get into it. I was once caught before back then. I am now sober. Off probation and standing guard as for my wife. That is my return to my, towards my victims, which is my wife, Adam, for information of uh, GPD. So when you were on uh, drugs, what drug uh, were you on? I'm mostly like in spice, stuff like that, until one wrong move. And then that right there ended me. I, like what I tell the public, when you want to see the proof, I'll show you the proof. There is nothing to hide why we're all here. Just need to come to the right person and not to my wife, because my wife has what you call emotional heart. When you try to approach her at some cause, she will tend to break out and cry, and she could possibly collapse. So if I said public, if any question, to please come to me. So when your uh, wife is out there at the intersection, where are you at? I'm right beside the intersection, mostly in the side. I pay attention what to you, her. What do you say to the people who are watching this and they're, they're, they're saying, oh, Mr. Dorian, you know, if your wife is sick, how come you're not out there uh, working to help her uh, medical? I am out here working with the senators right now, but it is once again a hard time to pursue this. I do got four kids that I do have to take care of. My mom, my mother-in-law, which is also a diabetic, and my father-in-law that has a heart murmur in his heart. So I'm taking practically the whole heat upon these guys. So I am trying my best to get my wife the best help that she can get. No offense, sir, but are you sure you're not on any drugs? No, sir. I've been tired, I just got off work. So I've been awake, I work 12 hour shift. So I've been awake pretty much. So you do work, where do you work at? Yeah, we've been short in hand, so I've been back to back with everything and with my wife on the heat, with the doctor, at times I see her cry. You know, I feel bad for her, but we need a lawyer. If any lawyers out there to help us on this, please give me a call. I don't got no home to live on, on my own, that's why I come out here. Where do you sleep at night? I'm over at Chocolate House. Not really good to sleep out in the Chocolate House, but I don't got no choice, I have to sleep there. I don't got money, I'm not working. 
you know, this is the only hope I could get from here. Um, the people could help me a little bit. What about praying, Maria? Do you ever pray? I always pray with uh, other church. People could come and do the Bible. I said, what kind of Bible is that? Study Bible and uh, that's another religion. I'm sorry, but I stay on my Catholic church. I could go to the Catholic church and pray there. At least a little bit at a time, I want to go step by step. Sign says you don't have any family here on Guam. My son uh, back on the stage, but I don't know which part of the stage on my son. But I struggle myself out here. My sister is not going to come here and help me. My youngest sister died and we contact her. No response back from me. Why don't I keep calling them back there? I want to struggle myself out here. Let her know what I go to here in Guam. What is your son's name? Victor John. I contact him. She could, I'm not asking for a little help. No answer, no response to her, me. Nothing. Why well, don't I want to keep dealing with them? Have you ever had any problems with alcohol or drugs? No. I never take that jack. I don't know what drugs look like. I don't uh, take the money to go do the drugs, not even the alcohol, no. I buy my own food, and whatever is left over, I go and wash my clothes. People ever bring you like drinks or food out here? Yeah, sometimes uh, yesterday they bring me like water and a sandwich from McDonald's. I accept that, that's from, God, from the Lord. And I said, God bless you. I just got out of the homeless status. We're sl slowly climbing out of the hole. The reason why I'm out here collecting donations is because I lost pretty much my entire family, including my daughter, in one year. Her bill racked up to $1,126,000 because she was on life support more than nine months. Okay, She's, We had to revive her CPR in route to the hospital six times. Every paramedic in, this, in, the, in the Northern District and Central District know my daughter by heart. She spent almost two years in the hospital and I, that's how I, we felt so deep because I wasn't going to leave the hospital and then come back and know that my daughter passed without me standing by her side. When my daughter got sick, my, my mom passed, I was in charge. We had $32,000 left to pay on a, on a three bedroom house in Dededo and we lost it. I lost it. I have no more home because I couldn't pay, pay the mortgage. It was $1,300 a month and I couldn't do it because my daughter was still in the hospital. I couldn't go out with making the money. That's why I'm out here asking the people of Guam for help. My God, our, our government is, is taking so well care of this, the Micronesians and FSMs. What about the Chamorro people? You know, what about us? We're standing out here collecting donations, but homeless on the street, man? Not good, dude. Not when you have drunks running all around, muck around the streets while you're sleeping at a park. You got to sleep with one eye open. This island is the, pretty much the only thing that kept us alive with our homeless, okay? And my mother-in-law, okay? Because my mother-in-law took it out of the kindness of her heart to take my kids in while we were down and out and take care of my kids while she had a full household and took care is still till today taking care of my kids until we fully physically get on our feet and I respect her to the fullest for that. The average class person that has already seen been down in the dirt or at least felt hard times they give the most but you see these high-end cars they just stare at you some of them shake their head or some of them even roll them windows down and, and really drill it into you like why can't you get a job okay I have a job but I'm still behind I can't catch up I'm willing to take a drug test on TV in front of everybody. Give me some slack, man. I'm getting all this flocking. I'm not, I don't even do drugs. Let's talk about uh, why uh, people might be slamming you. And I, I think it's because some of the people out here asking for money, you know, they do appear to be on drugs. There are people out here that are doing it for drugs. And all you have to do is look and drive up to them and look at them. You can tell if somebody's on drugs. If they're high on pot, you can tell. If they're high on ice, you can probably tell, okay? I just got to do what I got to do. I'm not going to go and steal something from somebody that worked so hard, you know, to, to buy. I'd rather go out here and just stand on the corner and ask people out of the kindness of their heart to give it to me. Rather than going, you know, stealing and robbing or, you know, hurting somebody just to better yourself. That's, that's not my thing. You guys can gossip all you want, okay? I'm going to still be out here. I'm going to still better my life. And one day minus today, I'll be driving in that Lexus passing by you on that corner. We had so much fun at the Strawberry Festival in the Philippines. Next year, we should check out the Blueberry Festival in Saipan. Oh, they got blueberry in Saipan? <laughs>